Hi everyone, today is Tuesday, February 12th. My name is Brian McInerney. I'm the hydrologist with the National Weather Service here in Salt Lake City, Utah, and we've got a pretty good winter storm on the way. So let's talk about this. So here are the winds at about 20,000 feet. It's a rendition. It's actually the GFS model. There's a lot going on here. We have a northerly jet that's kind of sweeping around here. The red areas are the highest winds. Then we have a southerly jet moving this way. If you look down by this high pressure that rotates clockwise, this thing is pulling up all this subtropical moisture. And we've got an atmospheric river event that's going to come into California. And then we've got this low pressure right here that's eventually going to merge with this uh, southerly jet. And we're going to get a lot of snow with that. So let's take a look at the totals and what's going on here. Uh, and when we do this, understand, we're talking about a storm that's going to go from Wednesday, and I went to Sunday. It actually uh, continues beyond Sunday, but we're getting kind of far out there as far as forecasting snow amounts and such. So we'll just talk about Wednesday through Sunday on this. And the snow totals for the Logan Mountains are going to be 20 to 30 inches. Snow water cooling is 2 to 3 inches, with possibly 4 inches at some of the highest elevations. It's going to start Wednesday, and, and I'm just going to go through Sunday, but we still may have more snow as we continue. Uh, the greatest snow intensity for this will be Wednesday evening and Thursday morning with southwest flow. The peak snowfall rates will be 2 inches an hour, and understand, when it first gets here, it's going to be cold, and then it's going to warm up as that that a warm advection from southwest flow moves through Utah and we're gonna have rain below 8,000 feet onto a pretty good sized snowpack and then when the storm is the the front comes through on Saturday it's gonna drop to the valley floor so when you look at this you know long day period this the snow density trend is actually decreasing and when you look at the winds, it's going to be a very windy event. And what you would expect with warm advection, west-southwest uh, for Wednesday and Thursday, uh, with gusts up to 60 miles an hour starting on Wednesday night. And then uh, it's going to drop off a little bit on Thursday, then start picking up on Friday, go back to gusts at 60 miles an hour, and then drop off by Monday. But, you know, we're talking Wednesday through Sunday. It's going to be really windy. The key is... Southwest flow area favored areas are going to do really well at the beginning of this, and then we're going to switch to northwest flow, which is going to affect the cottonwoods, which they do much better. So it's kind of a two part storm when I spoke to the meteorologist here. So, northern mountains, when we look at Snow Basin and Potter Mountain, uh, snow totals 20 to 30 inches also, 2 to 3 inches. And understand, Potter Mountain is going to do much better with this southwest flow to start with. Really, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday, depending when the front gets here. And if, and if you've been following how we do this, the part that we have uncertainty is when the frontal passage is going to come. Sometimes they stall, sometimes they move around. But uh, that's what we're looking for. Potter Mountain with the southwest flow is going to do much better at the beginning of the storm. Snow Basin also uh, at 2 to 3 inches is going to start Wednesday morning. Sunday late is when we're just kind of stopping this briefing. The greatest snow intensity is Wednesday evening through Thursday morning at 2 inches an hour. Again, we've got that snow level at the onset. Uh, it's going to be cold to start with. We're going to have snow. And then you're going to get rain at about 8,000 feet for about oh, roughly uh, Thursday 2 o'clock in the afternoon till about midnight between Thursday and Friday. And then it's going to get colder again and it's going to drop to the valley floor with decreasing levels. Winds, very similar, 60 mile an hour gusts out of the west southwest. Uh, and then it's going to veer around to the southwest between Friday and Saturday and then move to northwest with gusts again back up in the 60 mile an hour range, but it's coming from a different direction as we've seen a lot this year. Now we'll look at the central Wasatch. This is the Cottonwoods, which will be favored more in the northwest flow, not so much in the early part of the storm. So when we look at this, um, the snow totals, again, I've got them at 20 to 30 inches. We could see more if the, the, the back end of this storm does much better. Uh, but still, we're talking 2 to 3 feet of snow with 2 to 3 inches of water Wednesday morning. Most of the snow that will occur uh, will occur uh, sometime on Friday night is the greatest snow intensity at 2 plus inches an hour. 
and the snow level is at 8,000 for this. That's a little tough to take. If we just had snow down to the valley floor, this would be a lot easier, but there's going to be rain involved in this. Uh, when you look at the winds, we're going to have some of the highest winds at 70 mile an hour gusts uh, on Wednesday night out of the southwest. And then really at 60 mile an hour all the way through Saturday at noon and then into Sunday, things are going to drop off. But you can see the winds are going to veer around from southwest to west, northwest to, to northwest. Really the time that we're going to see the difference is about Friday, you know, Friday afternoon sometime is when the front is expected to come through this area. When we jump over to the other side on Park City, Deer Valley and Sundance, 18 to 28 inches and the range there is much bigger because Sundance might do much better with this southwest flow if they're not influenced too badly by that rain amount. So like I said, there's a lot going on with this. 1.6 to 2.4 inches of water. Wednesday morning it's going to start and Sunday night we're going to talk about when it's going to end. But the greatest snow intensity probably for these areas, Deer Valley, uh, Sundance is Thursday night at 2 inches an hour. Park City uh, it's kind of in the middle there, and the canyons will do better on the northwest flow event. Um, but we're, all this area is going to get rain to 8,000 feet at the initial part of that warm invection, and then uh, valley floor and decreasing snow amounts. The winds are a little less, but still about 55 mile an hour gusts, uh, and really sustained in the beginning when it's west southwest to southwest over to west, and then when it veers around, winds are going to kick back up to 60 miles an hour gusts. Um, and then they're going to start to drop off. So, so windy and a lot of snow. And then finally for the Uinas, and this is really what we're talking about at Windy Ridge, uh, 18 to 24 inches with 1.5 to 2.4. Uh, again, the higher elevations on the southwest flow will do quite well, and the Uinas typically do really well on southwest flow. But the storm is going to begin Wednesday afternoon. It's going to end Sunday night. And then uh, greatest snow intensities will be Wednesday evening uh, through the morning hours on Thursday at 2 inches per hour. Deal with the rain at 8,000 feet. This is a pretty high area, so maybe it won't be so much, but that snow will be high density, and then it's going to decrease to lower density snows. When you look at the winds, uh, 65 mile an hour gusts out of the southwest veering around about Friday afternoon sometime, switching to northwest. Still high winds, but again, different directions, southwest, northwest that kind of thing we have going. So so this event is, is really a potent storm that's going to last a long time. And then we'll chat afterwards on, you know, we'll see what the next week brings us. But this is a long event, as we spoke of. You can find us on Facebook, on Twitter, on our page, but also understand, and this is a big one, uh, this is really going to change some avalanche conditions. So please go to the Utah Avalanche Center if you decide to go out. I know the boys here are picking things up in a pretty big way. So watch the Utah Avalanche page. Uh, if you've got the app, follow these, these forecasts closely because this is a pretty dicey time. Other than that, this is Brian McInerney, uh, and we'll talk to you next time. See ya.